Good morning, accounting students. Welcome to our exam preparation session. If you're watching this, you're definitely at the right place. Please make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking that subscribe button down there. And I promise you that will make your accounting problems a thing of the past. With that out of the way, let's get into the lesson. Now, in this lesson, we're going to be looking at um, provincial examination uh, November 2023 20, grade 10 accounting it's an example so I'll just be showing you how to answer questions and exactly what to expect from the structure of the exam now um, if you look at this um, our paper it's out of two hours you are writing out of 150 marks and normally you would be given uh, instructions which you should know you should be able to understand all of them what they're saying but for now i will not go through them because you know them what i'm interested in is the structure of our topics now if you look at this we are being assessed on uh, four topics number one it's uh, accounting equation number two statement of comprehensive income known as income segment and also the balance sheet and the notes and also ratios which we know them as financial indicators now it says to us that uh, we can if we want to pass grade 10 we can definitely make sure that we do that uh, by ensuring that we really do well on paper one if you get 150 marks or at least one date in paper one uh, in paper two you can settle for around 90 marks or 100 then you will be good to pass uh, which would be very beneficial for you so um please guys pay attention as we do um these papers together make sure that you practice as much as you can so that you can pass with that out of the way let's get into the lesson so we're only going to do question one like i said now um this is the question paper that we have now normally in accounting always they have to make sure that um for paper one at least two um a minimum of two questions should include um some basic concepts that should be assessed it's a standard that when you uh, write a paper it should also include basic concepts so now what we are going to do i'm going to show you the simplest way that you can use um to know exactly how to choose the correct answers so now the instruction says here match a principle in column a with the example best described in column b so in other words i'm going to look at the the the, the, the principle here and then match it with the explanation or example here in column b okay now here they're saying write only the letters a to d next to question numbers 1.1.1 to 1.1.4 in your answer book so what we are going to do i'm going to give you um the easiest thing that you can do um you must always make sure that you start by the easiest ones okay so let's look at um this one they're saying that land and buildings are reflected in the balance sheet at the original price of 350 despite the market value being 500,000. now this one we know that it speaks about historical cost so which means uh, for 1.1.3 uh, would have a so that's how uh, you definitely know how to choose them so 1.1.3 would have letter number a then it will tell you that you are only now left with uh, three answers and then the other one that we have um a clue about as um the issue of uh business entity so you check any transaction uh, that is related to that so let's check which one um says something about business entity so remember um this one has already been used next they are saying that stock taken by the owner is recorded as drawings uh, in the financial statements so any stock that the owner uh, takes for personal use they record it as drones in the financial statements it reflects back to um i remember this speaks about um it's a business entity rule okay it speaks to business entity because um whenever the owner uh, takes uh, things for personal use we regard that that as a business entity uh, rule because there's a separation between the personal affairs of the owner as well as um the things of the business so the fact that it says drawings it means it tells us that that is a personal thing that is something that he does for personal gain so 1.1 it will be letter number d so for 1.1 we'd have d here and then um the next one says 
uh, they speak about going concern so in terms of going concern remember we are left with um going concern and also matching principles so here what is happening is that you should at least have a clue of what each principle uh, speaks about okay now let's look at number b first here they say when a debtor settles his account the discount allowed is recorded uh, at the same time so remember here number b will go with a number it will go with matching because we are matching our incomes with our expenses the moment the things are recorded recorded at the same time it means they match them together so for number b it will go with 1.1.4 so 1.1.4 i'm going to write letter number b now let's check the one that remains the last one that we have um is a uh, going concern now in terms of going concern it has to tell us something about the future on the explanation so here they're saying trading stock is valued at twenty thousand, even though it could be sold at fifteen thousand. so here what we are saying we are expecting uh, the value that we are going to write in the books is twenty thousand, even though in the future we could sell it uh, for fifteen thousand. so it shows that this is something that uh, could it tells you um that it talks about the future okay so this will be going concern so for 1.1.2 would have letter number c so i'm going to write c there now um let's get into our accounting equation then um and this has got to be the easiest you can get you need to make sure you understand there's a principle called debt click uh, you need to make sure that you are familiar with it so here the thing analyze the following transactions according to the heading headings provided below in the answer book the business uses a markup of 50 percent on cost we know that this information means that our cost price is equals to 100 percent our profit is equals to 50 percent and therefore our selling price is equals to 150 so you should be able to calculate this on your own okay and then um here they're saying that we need to assume that the bank balance is favorable for all transactions in other words we don't use bank overdraft so 1.2.1 here they are saying that i bought equipment on credit so remember guys once we bought equipment we must be able to analyze on the transaction which elements are we dealing with so here they said we bought an equipment which is an asset so if we bought an equipment it would mean that our assets are increasing and then this equipment was bought on credit which means we have um creditors control which is a liability okay now you can see that we have identified account debited and account uh, credited remember equipment is your first account and then creditors control is the second one so when we go to the accounting equation we already know what to record now they said we bought equipment right uh, on credit which is, means that is the account debited and then account credited is going to be creditors control because we bought on credit so we'd have creditors uh, control here now what is happening to our assets we know that the amount according to this at um, 10,000 so on the amount we're going to write uh, 10,000 here now we check equipment we know that it is an asset so it means our assets will increase so therefore we'll have a plus here it means we are seeing that our assets are increasing by 10,000 and then in terms of uh, liability uh, owners equity remember it is not affected so we have zero here and then in our liabilities they will also increase by 10,000 because that equipment was bought on credit and then from there we are done with number one so let's go to 1.2 uh, point 1.2.2 here they're saying a data and Motusi paid 4750 via EFT in settlement of her account of uh, 5000 Now, once you get a transaction like this, guys, you must know four accounts are affected. You must show the effects of the discount as well as what we are receiving. So we are going to check firstly on the answer book. What option are we given? Now, remember, guys, uh, on the first part, the account that we are going to debit is bank because we are receiving money in the bank account okay now we need to check how much are we receiving according to here we are receiving 4750 so we'd have 4750 and then it will be a plus in the bank account and then also 
uh, it will be a plus and a minus because you are getting money in the bank and then also your debtors are decreasing so for this part the first part it will be plus and minus in the assets okay and then the second part uh remember we have to deal with the a discount we have given that person a discount if you say four thousand seven hundred and fifty minus a uh, five thousand it will give you 250 it means that we gave that person a discount of 250 so therefore um our account debited will be discount allowed so we'd have um discount allowed here and then account credited will be the task control so we're going to have um the task control here remember the amount is 250 and then our assets are decreasing by that 250 because we gave that person a discount it means that person will not pay us and then also our owner's equity is being uh, reduced by 250 because that person will not pay us uh, that 250 discount allowed to us as a business it is an expense so therefore it will be a minus and then we'll be done with 1.2.2 going to the next one 1.2.3 says that we sold goods for cash and then the cost price was 3000 now here we need to use that information about the markup so what we are going to do we are going to take 3000 and then we multiply it by 150 divide by uh, by 100 and then it will give us the selling price which is um 4500 so we sold those goods for 4500 and because they did not say any, they said we sold them on cash so which means when we sell on cash and uh, we go with sales and also bank okay so those are the first two that we need to deal with so let's check what have they done here so remember here they gave you account debited bank is debited because it is an asset and assets increase on the debit side so account credited in this case will be um sales so which means that um our bank will increase the amount will be four thousand 500 hours our assets will increase by 4500 because we are receiving money in the bank so it will be a plus here then the next one um our 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 owner's equity will also increase because remember when we sell our money goes up so owner's equity will go up also by 4500 and in this case the equation will balance next part we are dealing with um the cost of sales effect now remember guys um when you sell goods uh, you are dealing with two things your cost of sales and trading stock so the alternative account here the britain cost of sales for us the reason why cost of sales is debited because it is the account that is going to uh to to to, to. it is the expense that is going to increase and then remember trading stock as an asset is being reduced because you are selling to someone so which means account credited here will be our trading our trading stock and then what is going to happen to our assets our asset trading stock it is going to decrease and also our owners equity because we are incurring cost of sales as an expense it is also going to decrease and therefore on liabilities we will have no effect okay and then from there we can go to the last uh, two transactions the last two transactions says to us here they're saying the owner a two trading stock keyword at a cost price of 850 the keyword being a uh, personal use so um so when they say um the owner took trading stock at a cost price of 850 for personal use this is what we need to think about i'm taking stock stock is an asset so it will obviously decrease so which means account debited uh, credited is trading stock stock and then account debited uh, will be drawings okay so you need to remember which account to debit which account to credit and then now what is happening with this is that my trading stock as an asset it is decreasing by 850 and also the owner's equity it is also decreasing by 850 hence liabilities are not affected and then on the last part let's go to the last question the last question says that the owner of the business returned damaged goods to suppliers uh, they were discounted five percent and then the original cost price was 1800 so when it comes to this what we need to do um we need to 
firstly check on the answer book uh, how this information was presented to us okay what we are going to do we are going to uh, record this according to the information that was given to us now if you return stock to the supplier number one we know that your stock is going to decrease but here what is happening is that we need to check um how those goods were were bought and they gave you an idea if you check in terms of how they answered remember when you're dealing with a supplier you can either buy on credit or on cash but if you look at this um it already tells you that account credited would be creditors control uh, because they did not mention that you bought on cash so account credited um here will be um creditors uh control okay and then they did not put the amount for us meaning that it's your work to look for it so here they said um the original cost price was 1800 meaning that a uh, the cost price of those goods that we got was 1.8 and then here they said that um we were discounted five percent so obviously on the invoice it must show the effect of that discount that we're given so um we're going to say 1800 multiplied by 95 divided by 100 that 95 we got it by subtracting 100 percent so that will be um 1710 okay so we have that 1710 here so even on the answer book it will be 1710 and then in terms of our assets our trading stock will decrease by 1710 and then on equity it will have no effect and then our liabilities will decrease so it will be a minus and this is how you were actually supposed to answer this accounting equation like i said it's not really a complicated thing you just need to know how to go about it so if you want me to become your personal tutor and help you to prepare for exams you're more than welcome to make sure that you get in touch with me and i promise you that i'll make your accounting problems a thing of the past please don't forget to share this lesson with your friends don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel and i promise you that will make accounting as easy as possible for you if you want to get in touch with me you're more than welcome to use the details that are provided in the description of this video thank you so much for watching god bless you shalom